if the pupil is large uh, and there's a good clear view, uh, removal of cortex uh, is seldom a problem. And the removal of cortex sh should be a relatively quick procedure uh, done at a safe speed commensurate with experience. If the pupil starts to reduce in size, a two-handed technique can be used where another instrument is used to push the overhanging iris out of the way to allow proper visualisation of cortex as shown in this video. In this instance a Kuglin hook is used uh, to uh, push the overlying iris out of the way enabling visualisation of the underlying cortex. With sufficient experience the operator can sometimes blindly introduce the aspiration tip under the iris even with hidden cortex. The tip is introduced towards the internal surface of the anterior capsular edge with irrigation on to ensure the capsular bag is expanded. Only when it is felt that the tip has reached cortex should aspiration be commenced at low vacuum. If the cortex is engaged, it should be gently drawn towards the centre of the bag to allow its visualisation. In some cases with very small pupils, iris hooks may be needed.